I have a question. Do you wear your good jewelry every day? Do you wear your blingy jewelry that normally you would think of as oh, wearing to a black tie event or uh, just any special occasion where you really dress up and you want, you, you just want bling. Have you ever thought about wearing that jewelry every day? We're going to talk about that. I've also purchased a few things recently that I wanted to show you. They've come in and they range from shoes to some sinus help when we're going through the cold and flu season, nails, oh, what else? Just a few things. Some things for the practical and some things just for fun. So let's just get started. Let me tell you about the jewelry. I, many of you who have been watching my channel for years know that that I love my jewelry. I love jewelry. I have a huge jewelry collection. I have been collecting jewelry for so many years. And, you know, since I retired, I rarely wear jewelry. I, I wear just the basics, maybe my rings, maybe one other ring. For the past five years or so, I wear this little heart necklace that Jim gave me for Christmas one year. I never take this off except to clean it, and that's it. I put my sweats on like I have today, or a sweatshirt, my leggings, and I go about my day, and I rarely have jewelry on. Even if I'm going shopping, I rarely put jewelry on. When I film for you guys, I rarely put jewelry on. You might see my rings, but that's pretty much it. So, you probably saw in the title, let me tell you a little story. Most of you know that I had COVID. We went on a cruise, came home. I came down with COVID. Then Jim came down with it. And I was in bed. And, I mean, I was felt pretty bad there for a few days. And then as I started to feel a little bit better... I uh, started watching just a very few YouTube videos. And one of the videos I watched was, and I know many, many, many of you know her, and her name is Antoinella Nessler. And Antoinella used to be a show host on QVC. And I think her specialty was jewelry. I love to watch her. She was probably without a doubt, my very favorite show host on QVC. I just adored her. Through a series of events, uh, two or three years ago, Antoinella uh, was let go from QVC. And for many, many years, she and her husband had planned on retiring at some point, selling everything, buying a sailboat, and spending their retirement on a sailboat. So, basically, that's how it started. Antoinella developed cancer, and it turned into a couple of different cancers, and it was really tough for her for a little while, and many of you know this because you watch her too. And by the way, I will list her channel down below so that you can watch her. She is so much fun to watch. But they are living on this boat. She is doing, from all indications, she's doing really well. Uh, I think she's in remission for everything. But they're living on this boat, sailing up and down the East Coast. And Antoinella, because of her experience with selling jewelry on TV, started working with JTV, Jewelry Television. And she has a little show that she does, usually from the boat, on, I can't remember if it's Friday nights or Saturday nights. I believe it's Friday night. And she'll hand select pieces of jewelry that she wants to show. And obviously, she's making a commission on it, which is fine. Have no problem with that 
at all, and I don't think many of you would either. But I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, and I clicked on her latest video, and she started talking about wearing your fancy, blingy jewelry for every day. You have it, why not wear it? It's just like everything else I talk to you guys about. If you want to wear full makeup, if you want to wear big hair, if you want to wear bright red lips, if you want to wear whatever, you do it. You be you. And that was what I immediately thought about when Antoinella said that. And I thought, I think I'm going to do that. And then she started to show the jewelry. And I have seen this particular jewelry on JTV so many times from the other show host. And I've looked at it, and I've looked at it, and I would think, oh, you know, I could wear that on a cruise, but I have so much jewelry that I can wear on a cruise, or I can wear it for this, but I just have all this jewelry, and I just didn't buy it. But when Antoinella talked about wearing this jewelry every day, I thought, you know what? I'm going to order it. And I felt so good ordering that jewelry. I felt so bad from the COVID, but I felt so good because the jewelry just, it just lit up. And you've probably already noticed some of it. So that's what I'm going to show you first about the whole set. I mean, the whole set. <laughs> Let me get my notes. Now, if you, you know, most of these shopping channels have their own line of uh, cubic zirconia. And I think it's Absolute on maybe HSN and maybe it's Dominique on QVC. And on JTV, it's called Bella Luce. And I tell you, it's all pretty. This I am loving. And I have some pieces from all of that, naturally. You know I do if I'm a jewelry collector. But let me show you what I ordered. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Is it something that you would wear for every day? The first thing I'm going to show you is the ring, because you've probably seen me using my hands. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I believe the blue stone is supposed to be aqua, aquamarine. It's sort of an aqua color. It's pale, and it does look pretty clear sometimes, but I think you can probably see the blue. I'll get the, this is the blue box that the bracelet came in, but maybe that will help you to see the blue in the stone. It's not a bright blue. It's just the prettiest blue. And it has, I believe, the clear stones are also Bella Luce. And I love it. The un Look at the under gallery. I mean, this is finished off like a very, very expensive ring. The under gallery. Beautiful. I, I have it here. I mean, it is, as Suzanne Summers used to say, that is a honker. It is a honker for sure. 11.35 carats. Now, do I believe for one minute that anyone who saw me wearing this ring would think that's real? No. I could never afford this ring if it were real but it's beautiful, and I am loving it. I wear a size 5 in it. I generally wear a size 5 ring. The second thing I got is the pendant. And it's the very same. It's a matching set. It has the aqua blue Bella Luce stone. And this actually looks like a little butterfly right here. It could be a flower, but it's in the white. It's on a silver chain. The back is finished, just like the ring. I have on a sweatshirt, one of those cheap, inexpensive, 
thin sweatshirts from Walmart. I also have on the earrings. And they're the very same. The big stone and the little white flower, butterfly, whatever it is. Love them. Love them. Look at this. I'm not real sure if the bracelet is an exact match, but it's very, very, very similar, and I'll show you the differences. Let me take it off. If you watch Antoinella present this, I mean, well, she knows what she's doing. It has a double safety clasp, but that's what it looks like, look. It's the same aqua blue stone but it's the stones are smaller, the blue stones, but they're surrounded by the clear Bella Luce. And then it looks like the little flower in between. Maybe it is a match. There's the back. <laughs> I love this. Love it, love it. I think, I predict that you're going to start seeing me in some of my jewelry that I rarely wear, especially my blingy stuff, my blingy. So that is the jewelry I got. And as I said, JTV, I love it. I absolutely love it. This is my COVID jewelry. I told Antoinella in the comment that I was going to, that I had purchased this on the tail end of COVID when I had been in bed and been so sick for those days. And every time I wore it, I would remember that how bad I felt and then seeing her video about this, purchasing it, and then feeling so good. It just lifts me up, brightens my day. I, I love it. And I had the sweetest note back from Antoinette, the sweetest. My nails, I put my nails back on and I had ordered some new Kiss nails. Y'all know I have tried a zillion different nails over the past few years and since well since I took my acrylics off and my gels off and I keep going back to these they're just my all-time favorites they're the kiss acrylic nudes and by the way I will list list these uh, down below and I have a video on how I put them on and these are the 62, excuse me, the number on the box is 64266. I'll put a link to these two uh, down below. Uh, I've had a hard time finding these in the stores, in Walmart especially, or the drugstore, but I can always get them on Amazon and I have a link to them. They're not expensive. And I think I'm going to do another video on these one of these days. Not only I'm applying these nails to my nails, I've had some of you ask how I take them off, so I'll explain that in a video all on its own. But these really are my favorite nails. And the polish I put on them today, or yesterday when I did them, is uh, I always put a very pale polish over it so that you don't really see that line between the flesh color or the pink and the whites. What I used yesterday is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy in, in 111. It'll be listed below also. I really like that. It has a, like a pearlescent finish to it. The next thing I want to show you, uh, oh, many of you know that I use Revital Lash, lash for on my lashes. I love this. I've tried others that I just didn't like that much. I couldn't see any growth to my eyelashes, but I've been using this for a little over a year, and I love this. I, I, you know, it doesn't matter what mascara. It does not matter what mascara. I, I can use the cheapest mascara. My lashes have really grown using this. I use it almost every single night, and I will tell you that I've seen some people put this on and they just sort of swipe it across their eyelid. I, it says, and I, this is what I do, is I really sort of take my time and I get right down in there with that brush and I actually draw a line with the liquid, with the um, Revital Lash, just like I would be putting liquid eyeliner on 
at the very base of my lashes where they grow out of my eyelid. And I have had really good luck with this. My eyelashes are super blonde, and I've mentioned this in a video I know that um, I've been thinking about having them dyed, but I, some of you have said to me uh, in response to that video that that you had had yours dyed, but it just didn't last very long. So there's that. But I have a new box of this. It's expensive. It is, it is expensive. It's, uh, you know, in the $100 range, and you can get discounts on it if you watch for it. I'll list it, but it lasts. It says this tube will last for six months, but this is my second tube, so it means I've been using it over a year. Not this tube, but this tube is going to last me close to a year, and I use it pretty much every single night. But the money that I've spent on this, on getting my eyelashes to grow, I've saved on mascara. Because all I want that mascara to do is to give me some color. I'm not really looking for anything that's gonna give me any length or thickness. I get it from this. So I don't have to pay. I can use an e.l.f. mascara or a my highly rated that I like so much from Milani or any of those uh, drugstore mascaras because I use this. Had all this upper respiratory stuff after the COVID and I went to rummaging through my little stash of first aid cold medicine type products that I always keep on hand and I found well, I knew what I was looking for, but I, and I found it. I have been using this for so many years. Maybe you have too. It's made by the company Aroma Flora, Aroma Floria Essentials is who makes it. And they are these little bitty, I've got it in a little bag, and here's two bags, but they're these little bitty tiny beads and you, they're in the bag. I think when I first started buying this, they were in a small jar loose. And basically what you do is you just, oh, is you, you inhale it. It's uh, called Sinus Help. It says, promotes sinus relief, breathe the vapors. And it has a, oh, well, it says the, it says, on this it says, simply hold aroma pouch to your nose and breathe in deeply. And you can also place this inside your pillow. It's all tied up real tight. Uh, it has in it the uh, active essential oils of eucalyptus, peppermint, and lemongrass. They work together to naturally relieve the stuffiness and congestion. Well, I have two of these in here. They are dead. I mean, there is nothing left scent-wise in them. Now, some of you are going to say, oh, you could, it tells you what that is. You could just, you know, refresh them. I, I probably could, and had I not been able to find them, that's probably what I would have done, and probably what I may, I may do that. But I was, a, I was afraid when I went to order the, some new ones that I wouldn't be able to find them. And I really had to search, uh, online to find them and I finally found them and they were out of a small looks like a small it says small flower modern apothecary in Chicago Mertz apothecary established in 1875 I'm reading up here on my invoice and this is how they came in these bags I ordered two and this is this one is going to stay sealed but it has the little bag. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. This bag says, for smelling purposes only. Do not open the fabric. Do not ingest. Keep out of reach of small children and pets. It's distributed by the California Fragrance Company. 
eucalyptus, lemongrass, and mint. It's called On The Go Wellness on this bag. But I'm telling you, you can inhale this and instantly your nose, your, it's like your sinuses clear up or open up. I love these. I love them. I, I have never seen them out in a store. I can't remember where I first found them, but I know I've been using these for probably 20 years. They just work. They just work. These, I will say, were pricier than what I paid in the past. I don't remember what I paid for them, but I will put the link below if you're interested in trying something like this. I mean, they're great. They work for me, and I'm not taking medicine, and I'm getting, it's obviously temporary, but it helps me to breathe when I need to breathe, so. Love these. The last thing I want to show you are some really cute shoes. I can't remember if this was QVC or Home Shopping, but they're Skechers, and here they are. Look at these. These are their, they're called, it's one of their lines called Go Walk. You can see right here. And it was the Today's Special Value a, a couple of weeks ago. And I ordered two pairs. They came in at several solid colors and a couple of prints. And I saw these and I thought they were so cute. I have had so many pairs of these. I literally, I tend to wear these all the time. They are so comfortable. I had a pair of these when we spent that month in Barcelona. I think I wore a pair of these pretty much every single day. They were a solid color, but I wore them every single day. And I did order these and I ordered the red ones because I knew I would not keep both pair. So I, I knew that whichever pair I decided to keep, I would keep and the uh, other ones I would send back to. And I believe it was QVC. And I mean, they weigh, they weigh absolutely nothing. I can't remember when I was watching the pre presentation. It says these are machine washable, use cold water wash on gentle cycle and air dry but it doesn't say how much they weigh but they weigh nothing absolutely nothing and when i opened them jim i, I put one on one foot and the other one on the other foot and i asked jim which he liked better because i liked both and he said he liked these better so these are the ones i'm keeping and i have the others all boxed up to send back unless i change my mind and I don't think I will, although I know I'd get plenty of wear out of those red ones. Aren't they cute? Look at the flowers. I've never had any that were, had a design on them before. But they're just, they have a good arch support, a lot of padding. I, I've probably, I bet I've had and worn out maybe five pairs of these. They're the Go Walks is what they're called. And you just slip them on, slip them off. And I have a narrow foot. If my foot were any narrower, these would be too wide. But they do come, I believe, in a wide size. They come, this is considered medium, but they, I believe they also come in a wide. I'll have a link to them below in case they still have some. Or they may have them on wait list. So you could, if you wanted them, you could certainly get them that way. Oh, and, and by the way, all of my makeup will be listed. What I'm wearing on my face will be listed below also because many of you always ask, what lipstick are you wearing? What eyeshadow are you wearing? It'll all be listed below. Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right. As I always say to you, be kind. Be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Know that I love you, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.